It is day three of D23 Expo. In fact, it is over and it has been a fantastic day. Each day got better, it seemed like, as we went through the D23 Expo. Today started off strong with the Disney Parks panel. It had a longer name, but I'm gonna stick with that. We learned more about Tiana's Bayou Adventure. We learned more about the 100 year celebration of the Walt Disney Company, which means Magic Happens is coming back. We're getting a new World of Color. I believe it's called World of Color One. We're getting a new fireworks show at Disneyland called Wondrous with a song called It's Wondrous that we got to get a preview of today. But that's not all that's happening. The Hulk is coming to the Disneyland Resort at Avengers Campus in the coming week, week and a half. They said next week, whatever that means. We also learn more about all of the frozen lands around the globe. There's three of them, which was very cool. We also learned Florida is getting a new nighttime spectacular in Epcot and with it, well, maybe not exactly with it, but Happily Ever After is making us happy ever after by returning to the Magic Kingdom. We also got a part of the panel that was all focused on what if, the blue sky portion of the Walt Disney Company. And in this case, a lot of it was focused on Disney's Animal Kingdom, like what if Moana were to go where Dino Land is? Or perhaps Zootopia in that place. We also saw a what if or blue sky concepts, several of them actually, for what can be behind Big Thunder Mountain at Magic Kingdom in Frontierland. Maybe something from Encanto, Coco, or maybe Disney Villains. We saw all of those things and several things more at the Disney Parks panel. But that wasn't all that happened today. There were also recaps and a look back at the Main Street Electrical Parade that was absolutely incredible with different videos of all the iterations of the Electrical Parade through the years with many of the creatives that made this happen. And you can hear people cheering off to my left and those are the people that made this happen this week. It is the staff for D23 Expo. Applause to all of you, you did a fantastic job. We ended our night with another highlight which was the Disney Character Voices panel where we were introduced officially to the voice of Minnie Mouse, Caitlin Robrook. Congratulations, Caitlin. Absolutely fantastic. But we also got to hear all of the character voices that were on hand for Brett Island with Mickey Mouse, Tony Anselmo, and many more. Bill Farmo and Goofy. There's a lot going on here tonight. And then we also got the voices of the Disney heroines, and that was really cool, especially when they were joined by their counterparts and some, including the voice of Aladdin and Donny Osmond, who came and sang, ended the night on a really high note by singing Be a Man from Mulan. It was an absolutely fantastic high note to end this D23 Expo on. We've got all of the coverage up on dapsmagic.com. I will say the Disney character panel and the 30 years of the Muppet Christmas Carol panel both happened in the same room and they were two of the most magical moments I thought of the entire weekend. We hope you've enjoyed our coverage. We will have more posts going up and videos throughout the week. Make sure to check them all out. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in the parks.